Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Vanilla Plus Showcase video. And today, we're going to be going over 15 resource packs that is going to enhance your vanilla Minecraft experience. Now, I made a video very similar to this, which covered mods, data packs, and resource packs that I made literally just for fun. And you guys got that video to 100,000 views. So if you're watching today's video, I would definitely appreciate a like and comment to help support the content. And without further ado, let's jump into it. The first resource pack I want to discuss today is the only complete texture overhaul resource pack, and that is of course Bare Bones, which is most known for giving you that trailer look inside of your Minecraft world. Of course, right now the game looks absolutely fantastic, but you apply shaders, kind of like what it looks like in the Mojang trailers for Minecraft, and you see it hits the upgrade button big time. Your game looks absolutely beautiful, and this is honestly the only texture overhaul resource pack that I use because I like the vanilla feel so much and this really just feels like another texture pack that should be in minecraft by default it just suits the art style so well by the way i feel like this should go without saying but all of the links to these resource packs will be in the description so you guys can go and support the creators and download them yourselves now in the same vein as the bare bones resource pack i also want to talk about fresh animations which i'm sure many of you have already heard of this of course basically animates all of the mobs in the game to make them feel more alive live and less like, you know, texture blocks just walking around. That's kind of how I've always described Minecraft's mobs until this resource pack came around. They just look so lifeless. They didn't really look in the world. But now with fresh animations, these mobs look absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love the animations that they have. And I like the way that the eyes can move around and just the limbs and everything. It just looks a lot more natural whenever you see them in this state. And I think that everybody should play Minecraft with this pack because it just looks so damn good. Now, moving on to two more packs that I feel like really just about any Minecraft player should try out, just like fresh animations, that is of course even better enchants and stylized potions. As you'll see, all of these books have different textures on them, and all of these potions have different textures on them as well. Instead of every single book looking the exact same and you don't know what it is until you highlight it, this way you can actually see what it is before you actually highlight it. This one you can tell is respiration because of the bubbles coming off of it. You can tell that this one's feather falling because of the feather. We have a skulk book for swift sneak. And of course, this is also going to apply to these potions. You have slow falling. This potion has wings on it. You have poison, which is a skull. And a really cool thing about the potions, which is kind of like a small detail, is you'll notice that the tops of the potions are actually a different texture depending on if it's a splash potion or something that you drink. You can see from these three different potions that the splash potion has this little yellow kind of Molotov cocktail bit on the top. The lingering potion has this little uh, pointed top to it, and the regular potion has just a regular little cork on the top. And honestly, I feel like a retexturing of the potions in the books is something that should just be in the game by default. You know what would be better than sitting on this castle with my villager friends and looking at the sunrise? That of course would be if the sun was actually 3D and wasn't just a flat image. This is of course cubic sun and moon, and as you can imagine, if I were to set this to nighttime, you can see a cubic moon right there as well. I think that this is just a really cool atmospheric change that you can make to your game. You can actually, I think, see a little bit of the sun right there as it's setting. I, of course, have the time locked, so it's not going to change right now. But yeah, I absolutely love the way that these look. I don't know if I would put this in Minecraft by default, but it's definitely one of those things that really suits the game. And I feel like it just makes things a bit more immersive without making them too realistic, if that makes sense. And of course, since we're talking about little changes that make the game look that much better, why not talk about better leaves? I'm sure for some of you builders out there, you guys have probably seen this resource pack a hundred different times, but it really is an amazing resource pack as it just makes leaves look so much better and honestly improves the look of the trees so much without making them look too weird. I've seen a resource pack known as round logs, which completely changes the way that logs look on trees. And I feel like that's a bit too much of a change, but with the bushy leaves resource pack they retain that vanilla feel but they look that much more i don't know tree or leafy 
Moving back over to a resource pack that I wish was in the game by default, this next one I'm going to show you guys is called the Fancy GUI Overhaul. And what this resource pack does by default is it will change the way that your hearts look and hunger and armor icons, but I have those changed for me personally back to default. The main thing that this resource pack does though is of course alters the look of the GUI whenever it comes to utility blocks. So this of course is the smithing table, you can see the crafting table right here this also does come in a dark mode variant for those of you guys that care for that here is the brewing stand the smoker i do feel like the barrel should probably get a unique texture uh but it doesn't currently we also have the furnace we have the blast furnace the enchanting table honestly is one of my favorites that one looks really good and if we move all the way over here we of course can take a look at the anvil which is of course in the shape of one and then we also have the grindstone so this resource pack looks absolutely amazing and it was one that i only discovered recently and even started using full time in my hardcore series because I just love it that much. Now, staying inside of this building here, the next resource pack I want to talk about is kind of a mod combined with a resource pack. Basically, the mod is called Better Beds, and what it does is it actually changes the beds from being an entity into a block model or something like that. It basically improves performance, but not only does it do that, you have, of course, the base model, but it comes with resource packs that make the beds, well, it makes them look a little bit more comfortable. As you can see, there is an actual pillow with this bed and it's not just one that well is just sitting there with a flat white kind of texture on it if we were to type in bed really quick i'll grab a few different ones to show you but it's basically the same every time there's also uh, a change to them which allows them to connect better if you were to put two side by side but i like this one just fine i think the little pillow detail is a nice detail and of course if it improves performance i will always want to have it installed now, unfortunately for this next resource pack, I had to disable my shaders because at least in my experience, it doesn't really work with shaders, which by the way, take a look at this little shrine that I have here for the books and the potions. Uh, anyways, this actually has to do with armor trims. And if you've been watching the channel for some time, you would know that I absolutely love the armor trim system that Mojang added to the game. Uh, it's probably one of my all time favorite additions that they've made. But as you can see right here, this is what netherite armor looks like with the amethyst and silence applied to it looks pretty cool but i think it could look a little bit better so if we add the shiny trims resource pack you'll actually see that my armor is pulsating with the amethyst that i've put into it and it kind of gives it a bit of a magical tone which i think is amazing now you of course can download this animated version which i'm using right now or you could download one that just makes it look bright and it doesn't have to pulsate but i think that this resource pack is fantastic and definitely makes your armor trims look that much more trippy. Moving on, let's take a look at my little automated farm here. We have my villagers that are getting the crops. They're throwing the crops at this villager. There's hoppers under the carpet and we get profits. But that's not exactly what I'm here to talk about. What I'm here to talk about is actually 3D crops. Uh, I wasn't really a big proponent of this resource pack, but I decided to download it for this here video. And I think I'm gonna have it installed going forward. I absolutely love the way that these crops look, especially if you were to get a ton of fully grown crops and build a giant crop field with them, it would look even more fantastic. But I think these look pretty cool. With the shaders I'm using, they do look a little bit odd if they're waving around in this 3d state so i might would turn those off if you're using shaders but these look really cool nonetheless and i highly implore you guys to download this resource pack and give it a try in your own world the next two resource packs i want to talk about aren't exactly far off here i've set up a little bit of an altar with a diamond sword in the middle but what exactly is important about this diamond sword well let me show you firstly i can install the invisible item frame resource pack which makes the sword look like it's just laying on this slab of obsidian waiting for somebody to walk up and to grab it but if i were to put on another resource pack you can actually see that the sword has been stabbed into the obsidian and there's a little altar around here that i made for it now this is called enhanced item frames so of course you do want to pair this uh, with the invisible item frames but as you can see if i were to walk over here you can see that these axes are put into this table right here we have golden swords that are mounted up on the walls we have swords that are stabbed uh, into this table as well and for a bit more of an aesthetic build idea for you guys I actually went over here towards these logs that are kind of 
put together, and I put a little axe chopped into the top of them because why not? I absolutely love this resource pack. Um, you know, I think invisible item frames is a pretty cool one in and of itself. This guy is stuck in a pond. Uh, I think the invisible item frames is a really cool resource pack in and of itself. I mean, you can decorate in so many different ways throughout your base, uh, but with the enhanced item frames, it's even cooler because whenever it comes to tools and swords and stuff, you can do some really cool things. Or if it comes to just potions next to a brewing stand, you can just have them laying on a table. Now for our next resource pack, this one goes out to all of you guys that can't use shaders. I get a lot of comments all the time from the complimentary shaders that I use because because it actually makes the ores in the caves that I'm around emit light. It kind of makes them pretty easy to see. Well, with this resource pack, if I were to disable my shaders, you can actually see this resource pack is called Emissive Ores, and it makes it to where you can see the ores because they light up in the dark. This is one of my favorite resource packs because there are a lot of people that use the ore borders where there's basically a complete border around the ore block making it easier to see. And in my opinion, that just makes the game look super ugly. Like I get the utility behind it. You wanna be able to find the ores easier, but it does make the caves look super ugly. But with the emissive ores resource pack, as you can see, these are very easy to see, but in a kind of, I guess, vanilla friendly way where it's not gonna have just a giant just square, you know, around the ore, making it look like an eyesore in your caves. And I think this resource pack is a really good middle ground for those of you guys that want to find ores a little bit easier. Moving on to our second to last resource pack. This one is probably the least vanilla plus of the bunch, but I wanted to mention it anyways. And that is of course, player model villagers. Now I think that this resource pack Hello. I think that this resource pack on a kind of base level is absolutely fantastic. I mean, a lot of these models look really, really, really good. And if you're somebody that's trying to do some sort of medieval villager type deal and you don't want walking squidwards in your actual village and in your merchant shops and stuff, this one is fantastic and it is really good for that immersion and making your world feel a little bit more lived in by people that kind of look just like you. Now, the area of this pack that I do have issue with is, of course, with things like the pillagers, uh, the witches, the ravagers, and even the zombies. It kind of falls short in these categories, and I will show you guys why. So I'm going to fly all the way over here towards this little dark spot so that the zombies don't die. So let me build this out. The first thing you'll notice is, of course, the zombie head is completely retextured, and that is because this resource pack changes what normal zombies look like, which I don't really like because I don't feel like every single zombie should look like a zombie villager. It's just not my style, and it kind of goes a little too far away uh, from that vanilla feel for me. That's not exactly the biggest deal. The biggest deals that I have, of course, come in the form of witches. And some of these retextures look fine. I think that this witch looks really cool. Now, some of the other witches are, you know, a, a little, a little strange, you know, just to put it bluntly. I'm not really a fan of that. Um, and whenever it comes to the pillagers in general, I do think that these guys look really cool. I think this is a very, very cool look for the pillagers to go alongside the actual villagers. Uh, one of the areas of this that I don't like, though, is the Ravager, which they've turned into that guy for some reason. And he retains the exact same uh, hit distance on you. He retains the exact same hitbox. But for some reason, he just doesn't look like a Ravager and he drops a saddle when he dies. Uh, very strange. Don't really like the Ravagers. Don't really like the Witches. I mean, those look fine, but you guys know what I was just talking about. Uh, it's just a rare variant. Okay, that, yeah, that, that just looks a little strange. Anyways, yeah, I don't really like those parts of this resource pack, but whenever it comes to the actual villager part, the, it looks fantastic. And if I were to ever use this on my own, I would probably just retain this part of it because whenever it comes to, like I said, making those medieval style villages and castles and kingdoms, these guys would be such a welcome change whenever it comes to making your world feel lived in. And of course, moving on over to the last resource pack for the video, I would be absolutely insane to not include this one. And that is of course, Vanilla Tweaks, which you guys know is basically the default Minecraft texture pack that you can make tons and tons and tons of changes to, to fit your liking. My own personal version of Vanilla Tweaks does small things like making the netherite armor texture more akin to iron and diamond armor, things like a golden helmet being turned into a crown, 
changing the regular bedrock texture because I think the default one is really ugly, and small things like 3D ladders, 3D rails, as well as 3D iron bars. Vanilla Tweaks is the king of Vanilla Plus texture packs, and if you guys aren't rocking it, then I don't know what you're rocking. Of course, to be serious, what you guys are probably rocking are one of the 15 resource packs that we talked about in today's video. And if you did enjoy today's video, definitely feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and comment below which one was your favorite. But yeah, guys, the links to all of these will be in the description below if you guys would like to go download them and support the creators. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I will see you all next time.